Today I'm going to solder together the dice shield that I showed in a previous video, which is run by an Arduino Pro Mini. And basically what this dice pair uses is two LED seven segment displays, a button, eight resistors, two female headers, and the PCB. So I'm gonna start assembling this by soldering on the resistors. And I solder on the resistors by first letting up or tinning up one side of each resistor pad, as I'm doing here. And then I place each resistor in its appropriate location. And just like in the previous video, I like to have the numeric side up just so I can tell what size resistor I used, but with a seven segment display, all of the resistors are the same size. So it really doesn't matter if they are numeric side facing up or not. I just like to do it for aesthetic purposes. Okay, and then once one side of each resistor is soldered, I check that I like their positioning and I'm actually gonna reposition this one. And this is the best time to reposition them simply because once both sides are soldered, you need to use hot air or one of the special soldering irons that has two tips or a large blob of solder. It becomes quite difficult to remove them. Whereas at this stage, it's very easy to remove or recenter. And then I go ahead and touch them all up to make sure there's a good connection. Because at this stage, like that one, I clearly didn't solder both sides or didn't have a good connection on both sides. Um, at this stage, it's much easier to fix any problems.
So now that the resistors are soldered on, the next step is to solder on either the numeric displays or the button. I'm going to start with the button, just because I feel like it. So first, I tin up one of the pads, just like the resistor. And then using the tweezers, I hold it and remelt the solder to attach it. And then I check to make sure that the component is centered nicely. And then solder the, run, or the remaining pads. Okay, and then I go ahead and I, sol or I solder the seven segment displays and in this case I actually marked which side the segment goes on um, because there's this indent on this piece so you can see it here and that matches this marking here. Uh, there's a number of ways you could mark them. I could have put you know which side the lettering goes on or so on or which side the the decimal point is on but in this case I just displayed it with this little notch. So some of these are a little bit hard to get in because I accidentally bent a bunch of pins and a gravitationally related accident. Okay, and then with these, I start by soldering on just one pin and again checking the alignment. It'll work just fine if you don't check the alignment. I just really care about aesthetics. And tend to be the kind of person who will break things trying to make them perfect. Now we go through and we solder the remaining pins. Being careful not to solder or unsolder the resistors. And when you're soldering, the best thing to do is always have the tip touch the metal pad and the pin that you're trying to solder. And then feed the solder into the pad, not onto the tip. Because you want to make sure that when it melts, it flows towards the soldering iron. If it's already touching the soldering iron, it can't do that. Okay, so all of our pins are soldered. A couple of them have a little bit too much solder, but that's okay. It's not going to really cause an electrical problem. And then the last thing we need to do is put on these female headers. The easiest way to do that is to take 
a Pro Mini or something that already has the pinout that you want so that the spacing and alignment is correct and just plug them directly on to those pin headers and then slide this on top. And then just solder, again, I always just solder the one pin and then check to make sure everything's okay. The other thing is that it's best not to solder all of these while it's connected like this because it takes a lot more energy to heat up both pieces of metal, like both the um, female pin header and the male head or male pin header. So once you have four soldered, two for each one, you can take it off and try not to bend it like I just did. <laughs> um, and make sure that you have good alignment. And in this case, there's a little bit of a gap there, so I'm going to fix that by just pushing down while melting the solder. Then look to make sure that these two are parallel and they're nice and perpendicular to the PCB. And then go ahead and solder all the other pins. And don't forget to clean your tip every once in a while because if it doesn't get cleaned, it won't work as well. Basically, if it gets a bunch of carbon on it, uh, carbon has a different, different thermal properties. So it can be problematic. Okay, and that looks like a pretty good soldering job. So that is basically how I soldered up this tiny dice display um, that I used for the Arduino Pro Mini. And basically, if I can get it off the breadboard, um, if you make these, they um, get snapped on in this direction. And then this gets plugged in. And that's it. <laughs>